Hi, welcome to another video for SimonsVideo.com. My name is Simon Tay, and today I'm going to do another Clash of Clans strategy. Uh, this is part 20, and today I'm going to talk about how to make a successful clan. Okay, how to make a successful clan that have loyal members and a huge number of uh, clan members is actually quite a tough thing to do. And you need to decide in the beginning, way early, what kind of clan that you want to set up. You want to be trophy oriented or you want to have uh, farming oriented kind of clans. The trophy oriented kind of clans is a bit stressful because everybody is rushing to get the highest amount of trophy regardless of what level you are in. And if you are very low level, you might get kicked off and it's not very nice to join that kind of clan. So uh, trophy oriented clans is only for uh, experienced players. So try not to uh, you know, form that kind of clan in the early on when you are not very experienced in the beginning. To form a clan, you need about 40,000 gold. So um, obviously you need to be very, very uh, wealthy in terms of the, uh, the amount of farming you have. So try not to form a clan um, way early in the beginning of the game. So try to form a clan when you are about mid-level, about level 40 to level 50. Uh, when you are very very experienced, uh, lots, lots of uh, tips and tricks on this game before you form a clan. Otherwise, people will see your clan as an inexperienced clan, and the clan leader may not be able to help the the new members who join. So try not to form a clan first. Try to join a clan that has a uh, experience in uh management of clans and uh, how to. Uh, make the clan better and, and learn from experience from such a clan and then form the clan of yourself uh, so that you can do the when same. When you form a clan, try to search on the clan search. You can see how it's being searched uh, over here. Um, and search for the names that is easy to find. If you try to make a clan name that is not easy to find, even if you ask people to join they may not be able to even find you so try to search on the clan search and see whether it can be found and if it cannot be found then change the clan name to something that's easy to be found uh, try to make it unique so that there's no other clans that have the same name there's so many common clan names that even if you try to advertise nobody will join you because they joined the wrong clan you know, even if you advertise on forums and, and global chat, it, it makes a bit harder for you to recruit Personally, people. I've tried Elder System previously and it doesn't work out well because the Elder System, you really need to choose people who you really trust and has been in the clan for quite some time. And I'm not, I'm not saying quite some time as one or two days, but one or few months and you can really rely on that person. Uh, the, the reason why I say that because I've experienced uh, someone within my clan, an elder, promoted the elder without asking the leader. And, and what happened after that is half the clan has been kicked off the clan. So it makes more sense not to use the elder system for now until the uh, Supercell developer um, changed the elder system to only kick one person a day, maybe, I'm not sure. Or maybe scrap the whole elder system or even make multiple different level of elder system. Even if I promote everyone as elders, someone who want to join an invite only clan can be rejected by uh, anyone in the elder system. So uh, currently my clan is free to join and very low trophy requirement. And uh, it makes more sense that way but uh, you tend to have a lot more uh, new members who are not very experienced to join such a clan uh, but you definitely have a full clan and uh, you know you will not be an empty clan personally i do not kick anyone of the clan without valid reasons uh, because if you kick anyone randomly there's no loyalty within the whole clan and only uh, kick people who are rude, very uh, unpleasant, or does not communicate uh, well with the clan uh, members. Uh, uh, it's best to join a clan that speaks the same language as you. So if you try to form a new clan, try to put in a description what kind of language uh, that you are speaking, uh, especially the, the uh, foreign language uh, that is not English.
So the best way is to make your clan less stressful, you know, teach the new members how to play this game, especially uh, they are new and they are new to the game and they are very low levels, low trophies, so they do not know a lot of this game. So one good way is to know all the tips and tricks, especially watch all my videos and uh, teach them uh, or show them the way how to play this game, like um, you know, show them my videos if you want. Naturally, your clan members will ask their friends, their family members to join the clan. So you do not even need to recruit people because they like the clan so much. Currently, there's a lot of people who are asking me uh, whether I can actually check out their base uh, after they uh, you know, add me to Game Center. It's a little bit tough for me to find them. Uh, even they, they tell me what clan they are, what's their in-game name. Because the Game Center list are all in, not in alphabetical order right now. It's all listed, uh, sorted by trophy count. So it's a little bit tough for me to find you in your game. So the best way is to join the Facebook group, which the link is below here or in the description, you can join a Facebook group and post your screenshot of your base. Uh, make sure it's a high resolution version and uh, post it into the Facebook and all the Facebook uh, friends in that group will be able to give you some tips or uh, say where is the part that is having some problem. Well basically that's it for this video and uh, I would like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and Happy Farming. Uh, if you want to see the rest of the Clash of Clans videos, uh, go to summervideo.com slash coc or subscribe to this YouTube channel at youtube.com slash summerday78. Go to the Clash of Clans playlist and see the rest of the Clash of Clans videos. Right, so thank you very much for watching Simon's video and I hope you have a nice day. Thank you. See ya. Bye-bye. To support for this podcast, please visit simonvideo.com for more podcasts and application reviews. Thank you very much.